what if I told you this was our campsite for this evening? It is, and I'm gonna tell you how in this very special episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone, my name's Patrick, and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. So tonight, we are in Ronan, Montana, and we're staying at the Silver Knot. Now, currently the Silver Knot is not an RV resort. In fact, this is a wedding venue. You can actually hold your wedding right here on these grounds, and you can have your reception behind us, and there's even a nice pavilion for dancing after your reception. So you might be thinking, well, why are you camping there? Well, the Silver Knot is one of the newest members to the Harvest Host family. And so we wanna to talk to you a little bit about Harvest Host and also about this amazing location where you could spend a night if you were a member of Harvest Host. You can probably see our RV and truck back behind and that's where we're spending the night. So what is Harvest Host? Well, it's a yearly membership where you pay an upfront fee and then you get access to this amazing database of everything from wineries and breweries to museums, farm markets, farms, and yep, even wedding venues. And the way it works is once you pay your membership, you get access to this great database and then you begin looking for places to where you want to go and spend the night. Now, you do have to be a fully self-contained RV because these locations are not RV parks. So they're not equipped with restrooms and shower houses and things like that. So unfortunately, if you're in a tent or a pop-up or something along that lines, Harvest Host probably won't work out for you. But if you're in a self-contained RV, this is a great program that we absolutely love. After you've picked out your location, a day or two before you plan to arrive, you give them a call and you find out if they have spaces. Now, most of these hosts have room for maybe one to four RVs overnight. And so it may be possible that you call and they just don't have availability. But if they do, you show up when they tell you to, and typically it's during business hours so they can help you get parked and settled in. And then as a thank you for you staying at their location, it's always nice to go in and make a purchase. So if we're at a winery, we always go in and do a wine tasting and buy a bottle of wine. If we're at a farm market, we love stocking up on fresh fruits and vegetables. We've been Harvest Toast members now for over two years and we absolutely love the program. Patty, what's your favorite thing about going to a Harvest Toast? I just like the open space you're not really close to a lot of campers. You got distance, and it's usually so quiet and peaceful. Absolutely. That's what I like. And I have to say, here at the Silver Knot in Montana, this might be my new favorite Harvest Host. Right. We've, we've been to some really amazing. Ones, we have. And this one ranks up there. It's so cool. It's just. It's just hard to beat mountains behind you with snow caps, so. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing is Tracy, the owner, yes. we met her when we first arrived tonight. What an awesome lady. So nice, so ingenious, such a, you know, a true entrepreneur. Yeah, she just, how she just is not afraid to go get what she wants. And yeah. She's already reinventing her business and doing a little different, so. Yeah, she shared with mm -hmm. us tonight, she has not only the silver knot, but she has the ranch right over the way mm -hmm. that can do even bigger weddings. Right. But. She's putting in a very small 
RV park right, right here. Right, because uh, I'm sure for her wedding, sometimes people just want to stay and bring up their trailers. Um, we know that from doing another family member's wedding. It wasn't a harvest host, but it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So we're kind of excited. She said she's putting in about 15 uh -huh. sites and she's still going to remain a member of Harvest right. House, but she's also going to have a, a small RV venue. Right. And again, these views uh, behind this beautiful. and this gorgeous fountain that she <laughs> has here almost makes me want to get married again. <laughs> <It does. Yes. laughs> so how can you join Harvest House? Well, it's real simple. If you go to our website, travelswithdelaney.com, we have a link where you can save 15% off of your membership. Right. And it's a real good deal. <laughs> and it'll give us a little kickback as well, which will help support our channel. Exactly. I'm also going to go ahead and put that direct link for you down in the description of this video. To save you heading over to our website. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. It's worth your money. It's worth your time to investigate and find places just like this. They're all over. And there's more and more every day. That yeah. Popping up. Joel, the owner of Harvest House, he has continued to grow the program. Mm -hmm and just find these amazing locations right. for people to come and experience. And I think that's really what Harvest Host is. It's not camping. No, it's like an experience. Yeah, it's an RV experience. Right. And it's just, they're just such nice locations that we've been to. We haven't been to a bad one yet. So no. we've enjoyed every single one. No, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video for you from a stay we had in Oregon last summer at a winery. Yep. Whether it's been the wineries, the lavender farm, farm the yeah. blueberry farm. Just the farm market. The farm markets. Yeah. We love them all. So, yeah. all right, everybody. If you have any questions on what Harvest Toast is, don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments. And if you're a member of Harvest Toast, let us know what is your favorite host yes. that you've ever stayed at. And until next time, we'll see everybody. On down the road. Good night.